All right, let's try and disentangle uh, what is happening within COPE, uh, within Action SA, and with the Tswane City Council. Former Action SA Gauteng leader, Bongani Baloi, says he could not stay and be part of the party's destruction. But I resigned today from Action SA after declining to take on the role of national chairperson. The party says the relationship between him and the national leadership became sour and therefore they were, there were irreconcilable differences. Baloy briefed the media on his plans earlier this afternoon. Meanwhile, the leadership drama in the COPE party has re-emerged following the ousting of their mayor in Tswane over his insolvency saga. Senior reporter Avi Wimtila has been tracking both those stories and joins me now. Avi, um, the rumour was yesterday that Bongani Beloy was leaving Action SA because he did not agree with Herman Mashaba's very firm stance that Action SA would never get into bed with the ANC. Did he comment on that? Is that why he left? He certainly did comment and clarify the air on that. He suggests that it was the national chairperson, in fact, that had that conversation. I think it was the state of the province address while they were sitting next to Panyaz Ali Sufi. He just accompanied the chairperson of Action SA to go to Herman Mashaba's house and to pro make that proposal. He even says he was scared, given uh, how he knows Mashaba to be. We've heard him numerous times on television speaking out mm. against the ANC, saying he'll never partner with them. But it turns out, uh, according to Bongan Mbaloe, that he actually considered this. He said that the Senate must meet, which is the highest decision-making body of Action SA, and they must discuss this proposal. There's an email, he says, that was sent out to Senate, saying that uh, Bongan Maloy and the national chairperson of uh, Action SA have this brilliant idea, and that would talk to working with, uh, with ANC. Uh, Mashaba goes off to Kenya, and when he comes back, Senate is discussing this, and they all reconsider uh, working with various political parties, including the African National Congress. But Mashaba comes back to... Um, back to the country from Kenya. He's asked about this in one of the radio broadcasters. He puts it blankly that he is never going to work with the ANC. That surprised Bongani Baloy. But he says that it was never his decision. And that actually talks of some of the dictatorship, uh, the undertones of dictatorship. But he says it's irreconcilable differences. That was mentioned by Herman Mashaba a week ago in a meeting he had with, uh, uh, with the national chairperson. And they gave him a week to think about uh, moving him from being the Gauteng provincial chairperson to actually being the spokesperson, national spokesperson. He came back today and that's when he officially resigned. In fact, hmm. let's take a listen to the former Gauteng spokesperson of Action SA. Today I met with, with um, Herman and, and Michael Bowman and I told them that I've applied my mind. I've engaged with many leaders as well and I've taken a decision to decline their offer. And subsequently I am resigning from the party. I think the, the big moment for me was in various people who are saying to me, stay and fight, let's democratize the party, let's do this, let's do this. I can't be a person who's going to be part of the destruction of Action SA and create another cope. <laughs> create another cope, well, we'll get to that. <laughs> um, okay, so he, uh, he was formerly with the DA. He was suggesting that maybe Action SA should consider getting closer to the ANC. Any clue as to what his next move is going to be? He told us to go to the Sangomas <laughs> and prepare okay. the vote as he's not giving those indications. But he actually spoke quite well about the Democratic, democratic Alliance so maybe for some reason. We don't know. Who knows? We'll, we'll, we'll we will find wait. out. Look, anything is possible. Has uh, Herman Mashaba, Action SA, commented specifically about this resignation? Not as yet. They not haven't yet. said anything out okay. to the public. Uh, after his it was a actually... huge coup for them when he joined. So mm. his departure, it will leave a big hole. So we'll certainly watch that one. But there's so much to discuss around what's going on in Gauteng.